I don't call home. I didn't even say anything yet. Adam Calhoun just did a, a new song with measles. Mazes. Not wearing my, my glasses. I need to wear my glasses. Yeah, I've been wearing a long time. I don't think I need to, you know, let me put them. Nah. Anyway, they just dropped a new song. Let me get the name of it. Pale Horse. Okay. Has like an aggressive hip hop feel. Mm. The drums are pretty hard. I'm not mad at the drums. I am mad at the drums. All right. And I'm not trying to just automatically hate it either. All right. The visuals, they were interesting. Did it at a graveyard. I don't know whose grave exactly they was at. I'm gonna be honest with you. Um, the quality that I watch videos in don't be that damn high, right? For me to be seeing names. So I don't even know if it was significant. Then they did another scene like under a bridge, right? It's a whole lot of gangster gangster smack, smack, smack. At one point, Mises <laughs> he starts talking tough to I didn't even say anything. And he starts talking tough too, right? He starts getting in there, right? They both were talking there ish, right? Adam said he the, the best person to ever come out of a trailer park. Not even hating on him. I don't know. I do not know. I don't think he's better than an Eminem. That's not even me hating. I just don't think he's on Eminem's level. All right, especially if I'm comparing best of the best. I think my favorite Adam Calhoun song would probably be The Butcher. I would think that's messing with like Eminem's best. I would think it's messing with rap. God. But anyway, he actually, if you look at the tags, he puts Eminem's name in the tags, Yellow Wolf. Shout out to Yellow Wolf. Struggle, Struggle Jennings, uh, da -da -da -da, Demon Jones. He, he misspelled, not smelled, misspelled his own name. Uh, honestly, Probably did it on purpose. All right. I mean, people probably type fast and misspell his name when they search it for it. That'd be crazy if you misspelled his name in the title. But no, no, no. So that's probably just so people would be able to find him even if they um put the wrong stuff in it. Even though I think YouTube does that itself. Right, but what do I know? All right. Uh, did I say struggle? Yeah, he put struggle multiple times. In Up Church. Definitely, you know, a lot of people they tag Up Church. A lot of people say that I use tags. I don't. Like YouTube has already put multiple statements out saying um how pretty much they don't think not think, but how tags are not really that significant when it comes to you getting views as like a YouTuber content creator. But um, they probably could help. You know what I mean? Especially if you put in other tags. Whatever somebody search Brian Upchurch, his song's going to pop up. Or maybe for a little while, depending on that's just how it works. He likes to, um, what's his name? Fill up and go crazy with the tags. Dude, Tom McDonald do the two. Oh, I forgot to say it. He tagged them too. That's his boy. I didn't review the track that they did recently together, but. I didn't really cover music in a long time I look crazy <laughs> music in a long time 
I've been so focused on my main channel that I kind of neglected this channel. But for you guys that are supporters of mine or fans of mine, whatever you want to call yourself, for me covering music, my bad, I'm back. I'm back, baby. I know a lot of people hate me. I don't care. I know a lot of people judge me. I don't care. I don't care about haters. I care about the supporters. I am going to get back into this music commentary, though. From just calling a spade a spade. I need to take a little breather so I can focus on my other channel, but now I got a little bit of time. So we back at it. So yeah, they're talking really gangster on this. Right? Bruh, like they don't want to talk, they want to fight. I can't help but to notice is probably some subliminals dealing with some content creators that got ran up on by Adam and I think Mises might have been there or whoever. I've got old screw. Right, so it's kind of like he's gloating. When it comes to me, I've made the decision, made the decision to just go full hill. I am a villain, I don't care. In terms of wrestling, I'm a heel. I'm not a face. Um, so I don't care what people say about me. I don't care what people cry about. I'm going to say whatever I want. And if anybody wants to run up on me over real life, I'm going to call the cops. Oh, yeah. I'm going to sue you. I'm, gonna anybody. I'm not talking about anybody specifically. Run up on me. I will sue you. Why? Because I'm evil. What you going to do about it? Make me rich. What's up? What's up? I need to get me a new rope. So I come up on here on my Ric Flair type of flow. Come on here on my Ric Flair. Right? Well, I'm already pretty. G give me the money. You talking about my haircut? Come on. I'm going to sue you. I don't care if you run up on me with a camera. I, I think I'm traumatized. A rapper randomly ran up on me with a camera. I keep having nightmares of cameras just getting thrown at my head. I just, uh, I might just slip and fall. If any rapper runs up on me. Yeah. If you wanted the different reaction like an actual fisticuff maybe it should have ran up on me <laughs> in my 20s now that i'm old okay let me just play this villain role yeah i'm soft what you gonna do about it nothing they're not gonna do anything but cry but anyway that's just me putting that out there, not about anybody in particular. I just know that there's like a few rappers that be running up on YouTubers. Run up on me if you're trying to cut the check. Or how about we just not do the messiness, right? And we just cut a check and I do a box match. I would prefer to do that. Or other YouTubers too as well if they're interested. All right, let's, let's get a check. Let's get paid. But when it comes to rappers, man, you know. You're going to have to pay. I think most rappers should <laughs> be reminded of that, right? I think beyond rappers, anybody run up on me, I'm suing. How about that? You're going to go to jail. <laughs> Oh, it feels so good to be on the other side of that action for a change. I'm telling you, when I was young, when I was over there, yeah, put him up, put him up. 
I ain't get nothing for it. You don't get anything for being the toughest person in the neighborhood. You don't get no awards, right? Ain't no stage, right? You don't get to do an acceptance speech. <laughs> None of that. So let's just play a different game now. As for the song, you want to know what I thought about it? Yeah. That's what I thought of it. 